Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a um, Tonic Studios mystery bundle and a Tonic Studios um, collective haul. Um, I was sick for a couple weeks, so all my packages were coming in and I kind of just stacked them up and didn't open anything because I wanted to share. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Now this one is from last week, from their Wednesday deal, and um, their mystery bundle from last week. So, let's open this one. So this here is the Tonic Studios Time to Celebrate a uh, die and stamp set and it came with um, four packs of cardstock. So it's this ball here and I just thought this was super cute and you could just personalize it. It says better with age. That's true. And these are the dies that are in there. And then you got the matching stamps to go with it. So I was happy to get that. And that was $26.99. And it came with this glitter cardstock, this champagne, harvest gold, and the black, black foiled. My mat is so sticky, sorry. So there's that. I'm trying to go fast because I have a lot of stuff here. <clears throat> Next is the mystery bundle. And that one has my first Smile Memory Book Pocket Slider Die Set. I don't have this, so that's nice. I guess it's to use with the My Memory Book dies. So that's nice. Next is these layering dies or nesting dies. I have this one though, so I'll be sharing that with somebody. I also have this one. Probably do a giveaway soon. This is the Magnificent Monarch pattern panel. I think this is two dies, so you can cut the outline or just the inside. I like that the edges is like scalloped, so that's nice. I don't have anything like this. And then there's the Botanical Bee pattern panel. This is really nice too. Ooh. These are from Susan's Garden Club and this is the Echinacea die set. I mean, look at these pretty flowers. I like those. Very nice. And then the Columbine set. These are very nice also. I'm sure my flowers won't look that pretty, but that'll be nice to try. And there's that. And so next, I will share what I got uh, in January. Like I said, these orders are kind of old. They were just sitting there and I just started opening them today. So um, these were from when the Tonic uh, had their vault open after Christmas. So um, I think the first bundle that I picked up was a card bundle, pearlescent card bundle. And in that bundle, sorry, my table's so shaky. Um, in that bundle was this pearl card and limelight. Navy Dazzle, 
I like this this uh, glazed chestnut. That's pretty. Blushing pink. Gleaming lilac. Majestic gold. Luna silver. Onyx black. And cosmic copper, which looks orange to me. So I'm excited about this because I love paper. I have paper addiction. And that is so sticky. Okay. Oops. Then, also for the vault, I purchased. Um, the card kits they had available. They were selling past um, card kits. And I went ahead and picked those up. So let's see which one do I have first. The first one I have here is number 25. And they usually don't come like this. They actually come in a nicer box. And um, then you get like a flyer with the image and everything. So I'm not sure if this is the way they used to be, but I guess it's everything that comes in here. And let me move this out of the way. So this is number 25. And is pretty. It looks kind of like a lantern. There's no images here, so I don't remember what it looks like, honestly, but from the shape of this, it looks like a lantern. So hopefully that's what it is. And they always have this random sticker. I guess they put it there so you could cover the number, but I want to know what number it is, so I don't know why they do that. I just like to stick it on the other side. And let's see what else is in this box. We got embellishment mousse in this pink color. I never really tried this, so we'll see. Oh, this box came with tweezers. That's interesting. Hmm. Some glitter and parade stars. Some glitter and blue bell hearts. And some sequins in pink tutu. That's pretty pink. Oh, I guess this is some kind of shaker. It says lantern box window shaker refill set. So I'll have to look this up to see how you put it together. So I guess these are the refills. Yeah, so that's what those look like. Alright, and last but not least, these uh, Shimmering Rose Mini Nouveau Drops. And this is the cardstock that came with it. This black kind of looks out of place for this set, but it's okay. I guess their theme was like pink and blue. Well, that's pretty. You guys know I like all kinds of paper. So the most exciting part for me is to look at the paper. <laughs> and this pink.
glitter. It's pretty embossed. It looks like faux leather. It's pretty. It's kind of like matte. It's pretty pink here. And I think this is my favorite. So pretty. I'm definitely going to look for more of this. I really like this. And that was it for this box. And that again was number 25. Um, I picked up three boxes. They were on sale for $19.99, I think. And they're usually about 30 some dollars. So that was a pretty good deal. As you can see, they come with a lot of stuff. There's that. I picked up also. Number 26, Bubbles and Bows. And there's that. And I'll put this down here so we can see. So here's the dies. So I think these are all from 2019, the boxes. So they have those ornaments, some snowflakes. And here's the sticker. This has to be so old. Okay, so this box came with some twine. Some tacky glue. This is a pretty big bottle. I've never tried tonic glue, so that's exciting. I book glue. Some glimmer paste in this blue color. Some scissors in this box. Wow, nice. Some sequins in sapphire blue. That's such a pretty blue. Mica mist in like silver. And some Nouveau drops, some mini drops in this like light blue color. Uh, another set of drops, but this one, I'm assuming it's Nouveau drops. It doesn't say anything on it. So, I don't know. paper for that box. <clears throat> oh, wow, I like it already. Just by looking at the first page. This is glitter. It's like feathers, kind of. I can't really make it out. Oh, wow, I love this one. Such pretty blue. It's nice too. It's just regular cardstock. I like this. Oh. It's like a faux leather feeling. And some glitter paper. Oh, this one's damaged. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's why they were on, on sale. I don't know. Maybe they were just irregular boxes. I don't know. But I'm happy with everything that came in it. I will definitely put
put it to good use. Okay, and let's see what's in the next box. Number 23. Move it out of the way. This is Christmas, I think. It says Merry and Bright. And everything's falling out. So here's the dies for this box here. So I believe that's a box. It could be like a gift card holder, and these are old. And here's the sticker for that. I like the colors. So, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. I don't know. You guys tell me if you know what this will be. We'll have to figure it out. So there's that. Also came with the six by six paper pad. Uh, aqua pen. Strawberry Sherbert uh, Glitter. Nouveau Drops and Silver Crystals. Nouveau Drops and Aqua Planes. And some Glazier Paste in this baby blue color. And my favorite color. And this one came with this one. A lot of these papers are like irregular, like maybe a little bit damaged, so I'm thinking that's why they uh, put them in those boxes. Uh, there's this one here. See, they all have like irregularities. But I mean, even just for the dies for $20 and all these extras, so I'm happy. Here's that one. I'll still use it. This, just regular green, regular red, and that one. And that was number 23. So that's all the, the card kits that I got. I did, however, pick up some magazines. And I'll go ahead and share those with you guys. up from the UK website for the same um, the same sale and one of these was like $10 and it said no dies included uh, I think what they meant was no extra dies included they actually qu had quite a few and when I saw it they actually do have the dies um, I regret it not buying all of the ones they had because some of them were $5 and but in the US site they sold out really quick. So we'll open this one first. And this one is issue nine. 
doesn't have a date. It says issue nine, so pretty sure it's old issue. And that one came with this Verso die set, the perfect pillow box. And I already have this die set, um, but I didn't have the main die that goes with it. And I couldn't find it anywhere. So when I saw this box, I was super happy because I looked for this die. And I'm not sure if you could only get it with the magazine. So that makes the pillow box and this is just like overlays. It comes with some pretty paper. Ideas and an embossing folder and some stamps. So that was a good buy. And I like to see all these ideas. I like to go through these. The only bad thing is that I start hoarding them because I always think I'm going to make something and I want to save it for that reason, but I really. I'll forget and I won't make anything. So I just keep piling them up. So that was one magazine. And then the next one was the, the cheaper one that was $10. <clears throat> and that was volume 11. And that one Came with the stencil stamps and this uh, floral fantasia die set and I guess you can hardly see here but as you can see here that's kind of what it will make and this one also has paper but the paper is inside the magazine has cutouts. This paper is really thin, but it's still nice. I don't know why all my stuff came <laughs> like smashed and you know, like it had better days, but that's fine. Can't complain with the prices. And I also picked up these sets here. It's the filigree floral layering die set. The incense gift box die set. And the diamond uh, gift box set. And I had been looking at these for a long time, but they never went on a good enough sale until now. So that's why I picked those up. And I have a few more things, but I don't want to make this video so long. So I'll just go ahead and make another video. Um, I hope everybody's doing well and taking care of themselves. And um, like I said, I'll see you.